It was his last Christmas letter to the Church of Oklahoma in 1980. He said, the shepherd cannot run at the first sign of danger. And he lived that. The army was stating that they were there to protect the people. And Father Stanley says, if you're here to protect, why are my people disappearing? He had seen people killed in front of his church. He had received death threats himself. If I'm ever kidnapped, they'll try, but they'll never get me out of the rectory alive. He was their priest, and he wanted to stand with them in that suffering. There is no better image of what a martyr is, but I think it's essential to emphasize how ordinary he was. We had the normal cows, chickens, pigs. He was the oldest, and he could always fix anything. Anytime there was something going on at church, we planned to go. When he failed the first year of theology, he said, I still feel called to be a priest. That's gutsy. He was a passionate, driven person. He may have been soft-spoken, but underneath was steel. Father Rother went to Guatemala to serve the people. Working the field, translating the New Testament, establishing a hospital. He did preach, but he also lived the gospel. He discerned God was calling him to go back to Guatemala with his people. If he'd stayed behind in Oklahoma where it was safe and watched from a distance while those people suffered, that would have been a life less for him than to go back to remain their shepherd. He didn't go back to Guatemala to die. He went back to Guatemala to live. The beatification of Stanley Rother is of tremendous importance to all of us who are the body of Christ. The fact that a regular guy from a small town can hear God's call and say yes until it called for his martyrdom. We're not all called to be martyrs, but we are all called to answer that yes.